SD card has chosen to suddenly make a reappearance after months of not being here. Ooh, this is dirty. Oh, the water is really dirty. That's why. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I was just trying to see what it would look like to... Bring those clouds back a little closer to the sun. Then these ones up here. This actually is a really fortunate accident right here. It's almost like an African sun. Okay. At some point now, we're going to have to decide, since the sun's down here, these may be darker in here. Because the sun is behind them. I'm actually going to have to look at some clouds to make sure. I know these colors are like this. Now, if I put some clouds down here, they can be red. They'll be in front of those. That's what I'm going to do. All of this is background. If there's something in the foreground, it's not there yet. Okay. <laughs> back with this one and I think I should just put some loaded clouds in and see what happens. Loaded clouds are clouds that are heavy with water. And they're in front of the sun. I'm not looking at any clouds in particular. I'm just remembering that when I bring them in close like this, well, when they are close like this, they're getting shorter rays. They're closer to us. Yeah. Even though they might be farther from the sun. I'm not understanding that, but it doesn't matter. They're just lower. These are much, much higher in the distance because there's the sun. So there'd be like a layer of, this is round, remember, this is the earth. 
So there's like a layer of them that's going to go around here, and then there's another layer and another layer. Speaking of which, let's highlight this a little. And again, this is why watercolor brushes are watercolor brushes. They hold a lot of water up in here and we come to a really good point quickly and spring back. So, yeah. 